Good morning, Pastor Lou Live here, renewing the mind and the body for a healthy living. And while the notifications are going out, I want to send out our birthday shout outs to Jamal Little, to Isaac Van Dyne, to Melinda Matthews, to Michael Dean, to Lois Foster, to Casey uh, Washington, to Perlifa Gray, to my Aunt Alice Faye, to Bishop Arnufo Pete, and to Mrs. Latanya Austin. And if today is your birthday, we pray that your day is filled with many blessings, gifts, and love from all around, and that you enjoy as many of the sweet things as you desire. Just don't make yourself sick, all right? Welcome to the Pastor Lou Live broadcast. If this is your first time watching one of these broadcasts, I want you to know that they are to encourage you, to empower you, to educate you, to motivate you, to inspire you, and to uplift you, to move towards your purpose, operating, uh, move towards your destiny, operating in the purpose for which you've been created, using the gifts that are within you. I'm super thankful and grateful that you have chosen to be a part of the Pastor Lou Live uh, family and the broadcast. And uh, I want to give a shout out to those of you who are our consistent viewers and uh, faithful supporters of the Pastor Lou Live broadcast. Again, I can't tell you thank you enough. I appreciate your your likes, your red and blue dots, your comments, your shares, uh, your posts, um, your it, inboxes and DMs, all of that, that is an encouragement to me um, for what we do here over here on Pastor Lou Live. And so I want to tell you, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate what you all do by being a part. So from my heart to yours, thank you so very much. And uh, also stay tuned because we've got some great giveaways that are going to be going on um, in the month of March and the month of April. We're going to be doing some giveaways in, uh, um, I believe, in sowing. And I believe that when you sow that you reap um, whatsoever you so is that what you will reap? Good morning, Tawana. It's good to see you there. Thank you for tuning in. And we've got some great, great, great giveaways. So I think there's like some uh, flat screen TVs, I believe some gift cards um, to a couple of different restaurants like dinner and movies and stuff like that. So we want you to be able to get in on that. So stay tuned because the instructions for how those items will be given away will be going out very soon. I believe in giving. I want to give because I also want to reap. So with that being said, thank you again. So stay tuned. Wonderful stuff coming down the pike. I love being over here on Pastor Blue Life because it's always a good time. And you never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen. So anyway, it is a terrific Tuesday. And I want to share and drop this a little bit on you. Um... As I, I have a little bit of time, I'm looking over here. This is my clock that's keeping me on, on time and on target because I don't want these videos to actually go over a certain length of time because um, I understand that people typically when they log into social media, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, all that, they're not on for a very long time because, um, you know, like the attention span and sometimes it can become too much. It become overwhelming. And so I want to make sure that I keep these videos at a length where people are able to actually receive what it is that I have to share and what it is that you all may have to say in the comment section there. So um, I want to talk about today, um, uh, I want to talk today about the, uh, the the right equals injured, or right equals injuries, right equals injured. Um, I was uh, sharing and thinking and reflecting and processing, you know, I'm always trying to make sure that I deliver something to you all that's going to be very impactful, again, very educational, uh, motivational, inspiring, uplifting, whatever I share. I never want to share anything with you all that's going to bring you down. I, I want to share something, again, that's going to push you forward. That's what these broadcasts are all about. I want to push you forward towards your destiny so that you can reach your goal. And I pray to God that you have a goal that you want to reach, all right? Every day that you wake up, you should have some type of goal set for you to obtain. And I believe that when you do that, it causes you to, again, look forward and upward. That's what this is all about, moving forward and upward. So I want to talk today again about right equals injured. And you look over in the text and uh, I'm, I'm standing and referring to Psalms 34 and particularly verse 19. And it says that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him from them all. And so oftentimes, um, when you make the choice and, and like the anointing is already flowing on me, so I, I really feel this thing today. But when you make the choice, good morning, Dr. Phillips, it's good to see you. When you make the choice to live right or righteously, hear me what I'm saying. When you make the choice to live right, when you make the choice to do right, when you make the choice to think right, you can expect to be injured. Injured is the affliction. Affliction means 
injured. Injured is the affliction. And so he says, many are the afflictions or many are the injuries of who? The righteous, those who have chosen to live right. And what is living? What is living right? Living right is living according to the word of God. So anytime that you make a choice to do what God says do, hear me somebody, when you make the choice to be obedient to what God says, you should expect to be injured. Ooh. And sometimes you would think that, well, I'm making the choice to do what God says do. Why would I suffer injuries? If I'm doing what he says to do, why would he allow me to be afflicted? And one of the reasons is because the enemy, watch what I'm about to say, when whenever you make a choice to do right, to think right, to speak right, to live right, to give right, to love right, you become a reflection of of God. Watch what I'm saying. In the earth realm, you become a reflection of God. And the enemy does not like anything that reminds him of God nor of his destination. Okay. All right. See, this is what it is all about. Never, ever staying in the same place. It's about moving forward. And so, you know, oftentimes people are like, well, I'm doing what the Lord says do, and I just can't seem to get ahead. I'm doing what God says do, and nothing is seemingly working out for me. But listen, when you watch, because you're um, trying to obtain a righteous status. You are adhering to what is right. And we always know that the word of the Lord, it is right. It is sure. It is true. And so when you, when you make that choice, again, when you first just even make the choice to do right, how many of you have ever experienced that? When you just make up in your mind, you say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go this way. This is because this is the way that the Lord wants me to go. I'm not going to eat this because this is what he says not to eat. Just when you make that choice, you haven't even put it into action yet, but just because you made the choice in your mind to do right. How many of you have ever been attacked just starting in your mind once you make that decision? Okay, this is the way that I'm going to go. Okay, this is, I'm going to choose peace today. Today, I'm going to choose love. And then all of a sudden, the battle starts right there in your mind. If you've ever experienced that, put some red and blue dots up. That, that becomes your amen. That becomes your witness. It's just oftentimes starting with that thought that I am choosing right over wrong. And understand this, you know, sometimes we say, oh, well, you know, they didn't know right from Rome. Oh, listen, let me tell you. Yes, in fact, people do. We are taught right from wrong when we are very young. We are taught that this is how you should behave. This is how you should speak. This is how you should walk. This is what you should do. But then we are also taught this is what you should not say. This is what you should not do. This is how you should not go. All right. So we learn right from wrong at a very early age. But then when we go deeper and we mature in our understanding of right according to the word of God, that is when the attack will assume. That is when the affliction will come. Watch this. And the affliction comes most oftentimes from the enemy. Now watch what I'm about to say. Thank you for the red and blue dots. Most oftentimes that the affliction, the enemy will use, watch what I'm about to say, people that we are familiar with to usher in the affliction. I'll let that be a Selah moment. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> that the affliction most often times will come through a person that we are familiar with. That's somebody that you know. That affliction, it comes from, let's say, for example, it may come from your mother. It may come from your father. It may come from your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle, your cousin, your niece, your nephew, your grandparent. Did I hear everybody that you're familiar with? Sometimes it will come from a friend. Sometimes it may even come from a coworker. It comes most often oftentimes from someone that you are familiar with. And then that's when it seemingly is really out of left field. And because you're like, this is somebody that I know. This is somebody that I'm connected to. This is someone that I trusted. This is someone that I love. But how is it that you have now turned to usher in the injury? Woo! What I'm telling you is that, and it is because, watch what I'm saying. It is because you have chosen to do right. You have chosen to be right. You have chosen to live right. You have chosen to speak right. What's up, most Steph? Thank you for tuning in, man. And so when you make that choice, the affliction is going to come. That's why I said right equals affliction. Right equals 
injury. All right. So you can expect something negative to be said. I'm talking, I'm talking and I've got to get ready to go. You can expect something negative to be said about you when you choose to do right. You can expect something negative to be done when you choose to do right. But here is, listen, because you know, and, and again, it's usually going to come from a person you're familiar with. It's going to come, listen, that negative word, that negative deed is going to come from somebody that you gave your money to. I'll let that be a say moment. It's going to come from somebody that's always borrowing something from you. I'm telling you what I know. It's going to come, watch this, because again, we're choosing to stay with the prophecy and the prophecy always leads to righteousness. <laughs> the prophecy always leads to what's right, but it will come. It will come from somebody that you gave a ride to. It will come from somebody that you done lent money to so that they could buy gas for their car, so that they could buy food for their table. It's going to oftentimes come from somebody that you you went and checked on in their time of need. It's going to come from somebody that you helped them to have peace when they were in a place in a season of chaos. That affliction usually comes from that individual. Most oftentimes from somebody, watch what I'm about to say, from somebody that has less than you, from somebody that hasn't even obtained the status or the same class as you is where the affliction will come. And so it's just like, you know, I don't even understand why this is happening. I haven't even done anything to you or to them. And you are absolutely right. You haven't done anything to them. You haven't said anything negative about them. But what you have done is you've chosen to be right. Okay. All right. I'm going to be talking about this all week long. It is because of that choice that you make when you choose to do right. When you choose to love right, when you choose that you're going to treat people the way that God wants you to treat those people, which is again, right, which leads to righteousness. You can expect affliction. You can expect injury. You can expect trouble. You can expect some type of opposition because, again, the enemy wants to try to reel you back in to doing unrighteous things, to living unrighteously, to doing things the wrong way, to doing things in opposition to the word of God. He wants to reel you back in to disobedience. But here is the shouting part, y'all, and I'm going to get off of here. I want to leave you with this particular point. Even when people are talking negatively about you, when people are acting all kinds of way but right towards you, don't fear, don't fret, don't flip out. Why? Because the rest of the text says, but the Lord delivered him from them all. So anything you have to know that the affliction, that the injury, it comes to put you in a lockdown situation. That what people say about you in the negative, it comes so that they can try to bind you up. So that they can cause you to be restricted just as they are restricted. So when it comes, it seemingly sometimes you feel that, especially because it comes from a person that you're familiar with, it comes from a person that you are connected to, you are affected by it. Listen, we are still humans and I'm not going to even sit up here and try to act like I'm a super saint, I'm a super Christian, I'm a superman in God. Absolutely not. No, I'm able to do supernatural things through God and with the power of God, but I am still human. So when that comes, especially when it's seemingly out of no place from left field, then it's like, oh my God, what is going on? You feel that you're affected by it. Now, you may not immediately respond to it uh, or you may not even retaliate against it, but you do feel it. Why? It is because you have a connection. You have an association to that individual where it's coming from. It's like somebody that, you know, again, it's somebody that you gave of yourself to. So you feel the effects of it. But the word says that he will deliver you and I from them all. So no matter what is said about me in the negative, God has already delivered me. I'm going to be delivered from it. I'm going to come out of it. No matter what is done to me in the negative, I'm going to come out of it. Why? Because the Lord is going to deliver me. I don't have to listen, listen, listen. Here's the word of wisdom. You don't have to say anything. You don't have to do anything when the affliction comes. Why? Because the affliction comes from the enemy. It comes from a negative place. It comes from a dark place. And the word says, but the Lord will deliver you. So I don't have to stand up and defend myself for anything. I'll let that be a Selah moment. Not when I choose to do right. Not when you choose to do right. You don't have to defend yourself. Why? Because the Lord will defend you. The righteous one will defend you. The holy one 
will defend you. And not only will he defend you, but the text says that he will deliver you, which means he'll bring you out every single time. That's why you don't, that's why, that's why you don't, what, what did I put up last week? I learned this from Dr. Juanita Bynum. We don't shake, we shift. And why do we shift? Because the Lord's going to deliver you. The Lord's going to bring you out. So don't worry if people talking negatively about you, let them talk. I got to go. I got like 20 seconds. Let them talk. If people are acting funny towards you, let them act funny towards you. Why? Because they're going to keep right on talking you into a place of deliverance. They're going to keep on acting funny towards you to a place of deliverance. The Lord will bring you out. Y'all ain't going to shout up in here with me. Ah, Somebody put it in the text in the comment section. The Lord is bringing me out. So when people talk about you, listen, it's because you made the choice to do right. Especially when you know you haven't done anything towards them. Know this, the Lord will deliver you. And I'm going to share this later. This is it. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I got to get off of here. I love y'all. I got to go. But here it is. Most negative, most negative things that are said about you and I, they come from a low place and a person that's beneath you. So you don't have to respond. Why? Because the Lord is bringing you out. That's right, most stuff. That's it, Dr. Phillips. The Lord is delivering you. Why? Many are the afflictions of the righteous. When you expect it, listen, when you do right, when you choose right, when you love right, expect the affliction, expect the injury. And the injuries, y'all, they hurt. When you get injured, that injury hurts. Something has been broken. Something has been breached. Something has been cut that should not, that should not have ever been cut. It should not have ever, listen, you should not have been bruised. They should not have treated you that way, but it only occurred because you chose the righteous way, because you chose the word of God, because you chose to do what's right. But when you choose right, expect injury, but not only expect the injury, expect the Lord to deliver you Woo! and he will heal you. Why? Because he is the bomb in Gilead. I love you all. Please remember, for those of you that are connected to us, please remember the family of Bishop Reginald Speed Sr. in prayer. As we learned yesterday that he went on to be with the Lord yesterday. And so, of course, we know that when death occurs, again, the injury occurs, it brings brokenness. And so we expect God to bring healing. We want to pray for healing and comfort in that family as they are making preparations to celebrate his life and the impact that he had in the earth. And uh, I want you to know that I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Pastor James White. Oh, my God, y'all. Pastor James White is on here. Y'all go and follow that man. Like him, friend him. He's on Twitter. He's on Instagram. He has so much wisdom and so much knowledge that he pours out on a daily basis. And I know that you will be blessed by him. So please do that. What's up, Sean? My cousin is on here. That's it, Tawana. The Lord is bringing you out. I love you all. Thank you so much. Pastor James White, if you're still listening, man, we're going to make arrangements because I need to have you on so that you can speak to the people uh, just so that they can hear what the Lord is speaking through you because you are a powerful man of God. All right. I love you all. I pray that you've been educated motivated, inspired, and uplifted to move towards your destiny, operating in the purpose for which you've been created, using the gifts that are within you. When you choose right, expect the injury. When you choose right, expect the injury. I'm going to say it one more time. When you choose right, expect the injury. But know this, the Lord will deliver you out of them all. I'm signing off by saying, hello, 2019. I'm going up and so are you. And what's to come for you and for me is so much better than what's been. Have a terrific Tuesday. Mad love.